All right, let me ask you this question. Do you guys ever find yourself trying to survive any game battles while your PC just can't manage to keep a stable FPS? What's going on, Bunch of Credits Army? Today, all right, we're gonna be going through all the best ways that you can improve your FPS and reduce lag in your game so that you can play at your maximum performance. And, you know, speaking of maximum performance, sometimes your settings are already perfect. So, you know, the only way to improve is to head on over to ProGuys.com. I mean, we've got everything from master courses by top pros like Clicks to, you know, pro coaches that can really help you guys improve fast. Are you guys ready to get into these new tips? I know I am. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so the first tip that we have for you has to do with your Fortnite display settings. All right, so if you wanna reduce your lag on Fortnite, you need more frames per second to really get less input delay, and for that, all right, you're gonna need to run low graphics settings so that your graphics card and CPU can just run Fortnite smoothly. So we recommend that you should turn all of your graphics settings, such as like shadows and anti-aliasing. To the lowest quality if you want the best performance with the exception of the textures, which can be whatever you guys prefer. And this is going to make your game run a lot faster since your PC has fewer elements for it to process, making everything run buttery smooth. Yeah, I just said the word buttery because it's that smooth. Below the graphic settings are the more in-depth advanced graphic settings, like these settings are very important for making your game run smoother and really giving better performance. And instead of just changing your graphic settings all to low as suggested before, you can instead just set your rendering mode to performance mode. So unlike DirectX you know, 12 or 11, performance mode is a rendering mode that is designed to lower input delay and free up as much CPU and GPU power as possible and really make your game runs extremely smooth. And you know, with performance mode, you're given the option to set your meshes to either high or low. Low meshes make your builds look like you're playing a mobile, giving you the largest performance boost. And high meshes give you the more popular bubble wrap type builds, like which you can see a lot of pros using. So high meshes are still good and really give more FPS, but not as much as the mobile builds does. So in the advanced Fortnite graphic settings, okay, there is also a setting called allow multi-threaded rendering. And generally, like you wanna have this turned on if you have a modern CPU. However, if you have less than eight cores in your CPU, you might just wanna turn the setting off to really improve performance. So for the Nvidia Reflex low latency, really only available to Nvidia graphics card users, you wanna have this setting set to on plus boost. And this setting will produce your system latency, also known as input put delay in situations where your GPU starts to really get overwhelmed. All right, bunch of crunch on me for the question of the day. All right, what settings do you use in Fortnite? Do you try to maximize your FPS as much as you can to be as competitive as possible? Or do you flick on all the fancy settings like, you know, ray tracing so the Fortnite island looks as gorgeous as it can? Let us know in the comments below and we're gonna read every single one. Here we go. So on the subject of your GPU, the next tip that we have is to simply check to update your drivers if you haven't done that in a while. Like if you're already on top of your drivers and you know you already know about this business, just skip ahead to the next one. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is check which graphics card you have. Open start, search for system, information, and just press it, expand components, and click on display. Go to adapter description to see which GPU you have. Okay, so if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, download GeForce Experience from this website. Once it's installed, okay, open it up, go to drivers located next to home, top left, and if there are any new drivers available, press download. And after it's finished downloading, you should have the option to select Express Instant installation and the GeForce game ready driver will be updated to the latest version and after this you should probably restart your PC to fill the changes and if you have an AMD graphics card go to this website and press download to install the Radeon software once this has downloaded launch it and once it is automatically detected your system configuration press install and this may take a little while but you know once it finishes and you restart your PC you should see an increase in your Fortnite performance and FPS make sure to stay on top of your drivers so that your Fortnite performance doesn't get worse over time. Also, update your Windows because with every new update that comes out, your computer will run just a little bit worse if you skip it.
All right, timer resolution is an application that reduces the default Windows response time to 0.5 ms, achieving um, you know just a better input delay for gaming. And Windows usually sets the default timer resolution to 15.6 ms, and Fortnite sets it to 1 ms. And so with the timer resolution app, you can set it even lower, 1 ms to half a millisecond might not really sound like a really big difference. And you're right, it could just be placeable. However, like, you know, many things increase the Fortnite input delays, such as ping, you know, your monitor response time, mouse response time, etc. And so you want to take whatever you can off your total response time. I mean, you know, we've all been in a situation where we thought we shot first and we, and we died, right? Because in reality, it's not that your reaction time was slow. It was the PC's response time and the input delay that really got its kill. So in your Fortnite settings, head to the Advanced Graphics tab and really make sure that your V-Sync is turned off. V-Sync is a setting that, you know, pretty much locks your Fortnite frame rate to whatever your monitor hurts or refresh rate is set to. Which on paper sounds great, but if your PC can't handle 100% stable frame rate throughout your games, which I highly doubt since you're watching this video in the first place, you'll definitely experience some heavy stuttering and lag, which you definitely don't want. So again, like if you don't know what you're doing, make sure this is off. But, you know, if you do want V-Sync, at least, you know, turn it on through your NVIDIA control panel. So if you haven't optimized your NVIDIA desktop settings yet, this is a surefire way to really increase your performance for Fortnite. So we're not, you know, going to go too in-depth in this video, but I'm sure that you can still research if you want to go 100% in your settings. So to open your NVIDIA control panel, right-click your desktop background and press NVIDIA control panel. And by the way, this method only works if you have NVIDIA graphics card, okay? Once you're in your NVIDIA, you know, control panel, go to the adjust image settings with preview tab in the 3D settings drop down menu on the left left hand side and select use my preference emphasis on the bottom and then just drag the slider so that it says performance instead of quality. And you know, alternatively, like you can go more in depth with your customization and really select the middle bullet point which says use my advanced 3D settings and then choose all of the options that correctly suit your needs. Just make sure to keep things like, you know, which take up a lot of power usage from your GPU and CPU are definitely set to off. All right, so this one is pretty simple. Some people prefer to use windowed mode because it just makes it easier to move from Fortnite to any other application on their PC. But did you know that it actually comes at a cost? Yeah. That's right guys, like using windowed mode slightly increases your input delay and reduces your FPS in game. So if you wanna maximize your performance, simply just you know playing on full screen mode instead of windowed full screen mode can slightly improve your FPS and input delay. Okay, so another way to improve your performance is by taking advantage of the ability to lower your resolution to 1600 by 900. So lowering your resolution simply means having your game display fewer pixels on the screen, meaning your GPU will have to process fewer pixels, you know, therefore the game is gonna run smoother. Using a lower resolution will unfortunately make your game look worse and look more fuzzy because of the lack of pixels. However, it will increase your FPS and performance, all right? And alternatively, like, you know, you can change the game's 3D resolution located in the graphics quality settings. And this is more customizable and really lets you go in between, like, I mean, 1920 by 1080 and 1600 by 900 if you want it. Again, unfortunately, you know, this season Epic didn't really bring us any extra settings to improve our FPS and performance. So you might have heard some of these tips before, I get it. But we still think that a lot of you guys will still find them useful. Hey, I'm so grateful for you guys are here today. If you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel and connect to me on my Instagram if you want some extra motivation at Your Motivation Guy. Hey, I'll see you soon. Take care.